Hey y'all, Sheree here with Not Sure What's Cooking. Well, today I am going to be making a Valentine's cake. It is going to be a red and white cake. So what you'll need is one box of the red velvet cake mix, one box of the white cake mix, and mix those in two separate bowls as directed. And go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. I just started mine. Also, I'm going to be making it in these kind of pans. I'm going to check them out and see how they turn out in these. Um, I have never used these before, so I'm going to check it out for y'all. All right, make sure that you take your pans and grease them and then lightly flour them and shake off all the rest of the flour that's on there because you don't want a big old blob of flour when you bite into your cake. And just spray it with some uh, coconut spraying oil and use some flour. All right, one down and one more to go. Now, whenever I'm mixing any kind of cake or anything, I always use olive oil. Um, you don't have to, but I just like and I prefer olive oil over any other besides coconut oil. All right, after they've baked, take them out and put them on a rack, if you have one, and let them cool completely. Wow, look how easy that came out. I'm really impressed with these pans. All right, so... I uh, hope this one comes out. All right, then get you some red raspberries, the frozen ones, unless you can get fresh ones. Usually I could go out in our woods and pick some wild ones, but they're not ready yet. All right, and then drain them, and then get you one tub of Cool Whip and mix those up together. All right, whenever you mix the Cool Whip or whipping, topping, or whatever kind you choose, uh, you're going to only need a half a tub of it and just mix it in really good. And remember, make sure that you drain those raspberries because otherwise it's going to be really runny. Now, what I want you to do is take it and put it all in that little um, indented area right there. All right, now just remove the other one, the smaller one, and you're going to take that and you're going to flip it where this part right here goes down on this. All right, now I'm going to get one can of the vanilla frosting Make sure you get all that full off of it whenever you peel it off. You're going to put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or less if your microwave is real powerful. You want it soft but not runny. All right, now put it in a bowl and then get you some food coloring and get you the red. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> there it is red food coloring and you're going to put about two drops to start off with we're trying to get it to a pink uh, color all right i'm not sure we might need uh two of the frostings i'm really not sure because i've never made one like this before like i said i've never used these pans before all right two drops was all i needed to make it the pink color all right, now just start pouring it on there and let it drip down. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of the little, well, I do have them. I'm not going to get them, but um, put some of the little mini semi-sweet chocolates on top of it. And then I'm not through. Now, this is the way I'm decorating it. You can decorate it any way you want. All right. This looks so good, just like this. But now, I am going to take some special dark Hershey's chocolate and drizzle it all on here where it runs down the sides. 
Now, also, if you're on a diet or you can't have sugary stuff, you can make this sugar-free. You can get those chips, the cake mix, the frosting, everything sugar-free. All right, y'all. This is how I decorated it. I'm sure y'all could do better. I'm not a cake decorator. But there you go. There is my version of a uh, Valentine's cake. All right. Look at that Valentine's cake. You can make this actually anytime. You can make this for Christmas too or birthdays. I don't know if you could see it, but the raspberries are in there along with the Cool Whip. And look here. Yummy. I know you're probably thinking, man, that's a big piece right there. Well, I'm not going to eat that big piece, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like. But look at here. I sliced off a piece, a smaller piece, and I've tasted it, and I'm tasting that it is so delicious. So delicious and moist. Oh my gosh, it's so moist. And this is a really simple cake. Well, if you don't have the pans, which, you know, I don't know if you have them or not, I just never had them. Those were given to me, and I thought I'd try something with them. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this, and just remember, if you believe it, you can make this. And until next time, be blessed and safe, y'all. Bye!